So yesterday we introduced some basic terms of geometry and you went over some homework questions, I hope, and got everything all set up. So now we know some vocabulary, we can actually speak the same language. That's important. Today we want to go on and extend that and add some more terms that are kind of special to what we do. In fact, we're going to create some definitions of some geometric terms today. That's our thing. So to get us started, let's look at a couple of things real quick. Let's start us off with two very simple terms, congruent versus equal. Now, equal is pretty standard. Equal is the same. And a lot of people think congruent is the same as well. But let me give you an example, okay? Let's bring up something here. These are my brothers. They just finished one of those Spartan races. They run at least four of those a year. And you can see, well, they're twins. They look alike. They both won the same medals. They went to the same college. They practically do the same job for the same company. So they're a lot alike in many, many different ways. But here's where they're not. They're not exactly the same person. They're not copies of each other. They are two separate people. So we could say they are not really equal because equal means that they have exactly the same value. Okay, equal means they are the same thing. The number two is the same as the number two. Four plus six is the same thing as 10. Okay, in fact, it's just another way to write 10. 5 plus 5 is also another way to write 10. So you could say 4 plus 6 is the same, is equal to 5 plus 5, because they have the exact same value. But congruent doesn't have to do with value. Congruent means that they have the same measurement. Okay, so my brothers, let's go back to their picture here. My brothers are the same height. Let's see if I can get a little pointer here. My brothers, they're the same height. They have the same, they're practically the same weight. I think they even benched the same thing. So they're pretty much the same in all aspects, but they're not the same person. So when we look at angles, we could say that the measurement of angle ABC equals 45 degrees. We're using equals there because we're actually giving it a value. I could say that the measurement of angle PRQ equals 45 degrees. So the measurement of angle ABC equals the measurement of angle PRQ. There, I'm using different symbols. Measurements are equal, but angle ABC is congruent to angle PRQ. And this is our symbol for congruent. So it looks like an equal sign, but it's got that little thing over top of it as well. So the difference is measurements, this represents a number. This is the same thing as saying it's a some kind of number. But when we don't have the measurement, we're talking about a figure. And figures don't have value. Okay, just like my brothers don't have value. Well, okay, they have plenty of value, but they don't equal a value, a measurement. Okay, so we say two segments are congruent if and only if they have the same length because that's the value we use to measure segments. Two angles are congruent if and only if they have the same degree measure. That's important because remember, we don't measure angles by how long the ray is. We angle and measure by how, or measure an angle by how big it opens. That's in degree measurements. Okay, so that's important. We have to figure out what things are. So what we're going to be doing today is an investigation. You're going to be looking at a lot of things like this: pictures of right angles, pictures of angles that are not right angles, and I want you to write a definition. Work together in your teams. There's a few of these to go through and then we'll go over them at the end of class, okay? I'm only giving you a little bit of time to do this, okay? Maybe 20 minutes, and that's it. So you've got to work well, you've got to talk about it. Make sure you use as much geometric language as you can. We don't want to say right angles, you know, right angles are 90. That doesn't make sense, okay? We want to make sure the word R doesn't mean anything in geometry. 
Okay, so that's your job. We'll come back and we'll take a look at that at the end of class. Excellent.